Cheers guys, Epix911, welcome to the Elitist Geek and VR Funhouse. VR Funhouse was released today for free for anybody who owns a Pascal capable GPU. So if you have the 1060, 1070, or 1080, you're going to benefit from this because it's using those VR specific features that we've talked about in the past on some of these videos. I'm going to kind of cycle through them. Really it amounts to a tech demo. Um, you could call them mini games, but I think that would almost be uh, giving the game too much credit. It's really to highlight features, right? So the mini games, mini tech demos, like I said, whatever you want to call them, show different aspects of the Pascal cards, different VR aspects. So we're going to see the liquid goop, we're going to see physics, we're going to see fire, etc. So with that said, let's start. So the first one is physics based. So you can see I've got two hands here, not bothering with the wrist straps. This is my second take. So I'm going to be honest about this. On the first take, I hit none of the baseballs. So I don't know why I'm telling you guys that because it's going to look really sad if I don't hit any on this one, because then I'll be 0 for 6, 0 for 12. <laughs> so here we go. Now, I got to say the physics is amazing. You can see the way that the soccer ball crashes into that porcelain. It just looks hella realistic. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, there. Woo! One. Okay, and I just threw the bat away. Yeah, I did play hardball, uh, baseball for five years. That was horrible. That was bad. Let's just pretend that never happened. And this is a mallet. So let's toss this, and then we'll go on to the next game. Where the hell did that go? Well, oh, we're in the next game already. All right, so this, oh, this is the settings. So we can bypass this, but it's worth talking about. The 1060, they recommend low. 1070, 1080, medium. You can see mine set to medium. If you have SLI, and just to clarify, that's SLI using the Pascal features. It's not going to be SLI on any other set of cards except for the 1080s. Then, yes, you can set it to high. So that's obviously that nice fire effect, which we're going to see in one of the demos. Well, let's go to the next level. Okay, that'll just be a replay of this. I'm not going to embarrass myself with baseball anymore. So let's skip that. There we go. This one looked really cool. So this is going to highlight that goop effect, right? So I'm going to shoot this goop into the clown's mouth. It's going to fill up the balloon, which in turn explodes sending the goop all over, right? So let's, let's try two simultaneous here. And it doesn't look like there's enough pressure to do two at the same time. Let's try that again. Oh no, there, no, there isn't. It's like the engine only wants to have one blow up. Or just, it has to fill. Anyways, there you go. So, I mean, that's cool. If, if you could picture that in a game, right? That is a neat effect. If that was blood or hell, just any liquid. You know, imagine something like the uh, Bioshock Infinite, which actually any of the Bioshocks played on the theme of water. The first one, I guess, the most. And the second in Rapture. Or was Rapture the third one? Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. In the water. So let's do one more. And we don't have any more balloons left, so. Oh, wow. Come on, Epix. There we go. Next level. Okay, this one was cool. So, uh, basically room VR set up within here. What I like about this, on the Vive controller, they've done the rumble in such a way that you feel the tension of the string. So when you're pulling that tension back, it's this little 
kind of vibration effect that they're using that's super, super effective. So I'm going to light the arrow, and you can see that is just awesome fire technique. That reminds me of uh, the first 3D acceleration back in the 90s, seeing uh, the fire effect in Quake for the first time accelerated. That was awesome. All right. Oh, yeah. There's even the sound effect of leather and string, which is really awesome. But the tension is what you feel the most. Wow, that is a nice, look at that. And then you can see the flame effect, burn the sign. That is pretty cool. We'll just do one more and just kind of rifle through these. Wow, nice little trail though. All right, next. Let's see what this one shows. I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, okay, this is the one where you've got to actually pop the balloons. So it's explosion effects, and they look pretty good. I mean, that does definitely look good. And again, you've got this little bit of a rumble, like a, a vibration rumble, just really minuscule, but feels like you're coming into contact with balloons. Definitely cool explosion effects, but like I said, it's a tech demo. There's not a lot of fun to be had here, other than checking out the effects, right? All right, I'm already bored. Next. And here we go, whack-a-mole. This should be fun. Yeah, that's... Again, you've got a little bit of resistance when you hit the objects, but really nice texture. I mean, that, that looks awesome. Yeah, no resistance, so it's basically meant for the mallet, which I freaking dropped. But anyways, is there another one? Or was that it? No, here we go. So this one, instructions, we're supposed to punch. Okay. Nice. I can really see a Mike Punch-Out style game working. I'm surprised, well, other than the fact that it's copyrighted, but just a clone of it. Unless you guys know of one. I haven't seen one yet, but a, like a Mike Tyson style Punch-Out, one of my favorite NES arcade and NES games, period, is, uh, is Punch-Out. And of course, Super on the SNES. That would just be amazing. That would be really awesome. And, unlike uh, Punch-Out in the past, would actually have you burn calories and probably get somewhat in shape. Next. All right, pinwheel, shooting gallery. So we've got two, two guns we're just shooting. Pottery. Now, if my aim was like that with the baseball, It would have been a little better. Again, really, really cool physics. Massive potential. But realistically, it's all about checking out the features and then you're pretty much done. Is there a next? All right, cannon shoots. Oh, it's like a disc. It's going to eject a disc. There we go. Well, that's kind of cool. One more. There you go. There you have it, guys. So that's a VR Funhouse. And this cannon still shooting crap. <laughs> Oh, is there one more? Or is that it? Let's see. Okay. So there you have it. However many demos that is. And we're out of here. Cheers, guys.